tonight on Late Night with D. How soon after having a baby should a woman have sex? No man says what I do to eat painless. Is it true that pineapples make down the taste better? No, you are pregnant, you're not sick, you can have sex, but don't jump from the ceiling. <laughs> okay? Should a woman shave down there completely? Pour yourself a glass of wine, get comfortable, talk to me what's on your mind. I wanna get close to you. I'm talking. On this episode of Late Night with D, obstetrics and gynecology specialist Dr. Raul Nunes sit with me to talk vaginas, vaginas, and dispel some common myths. Ladies, learn the best way to take care of your body, and men, it's time to learn as Dr. Nunes and I discuss the woman's body. Have a glass of wine, get comfortable, talk to me, what's on your mind? Ooh, I wanna get close to you. I'm talking about sex, love relationships too. Be -de -be -de -be -de -be -de Hello, Dr. Nunes. Hello. And you are a gynecologist. Yes, I am. Right, and tonight we're discussing the woman's body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we're drinking Cabernet Sauvignon, compliments, barefoot wines, ten company distributors. Mm, it's really nice. It is. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The woman's body. Coming from a professional standpoint, what would be the first thing a woman should look for when trying to take care of her body? Well, uh, as a gynecologist, we would recommend an annual checkup. The annual checkup is to just to guarantee everything on the women, especially the gynecological part, is in order, it's fine. For example, in the general checkup, you must check the breast, mm -hmm. you must check the, do the part smell, the part smell is the test to detect it early stage of the cervical cancer, and sometimes recommending also do pelvic ultrasounds. Doing pelvic ultrasound, we're gonna be able to know if the patient has any ovarian cyst or any ovarian tumor or any anomaly very frequent like a fibroids. Right. That is in general checkup. After the general checkup, any doctor, any gynecologist gonna be able to diagnose it and start to treat properly in sometimes in very early stage any disease. What age should a woman start? What, at what age should you start checking up, coming to the doctor? Well, there is now in the specialty one, one branch dedicated even for teenagers. Mm. Because we can say adults after 20, depend, based on the World Health Organization, but women around 15 have some pathology that is necessarily sometimes check the doctor. Especially if you're sexually active. Nowadays, sexual activity start earlier Very than early. before. <laughs> For that reason, sometimes we recommend that as soon the the young girl have any sexual experience, come into for a checkup. Okay, so from home, what are some of the things you can look for when at home? Example, in terms of a discharge. Right. Lumps in the breast. Right. Women have to when when my patient coming, we teach how to because one part of the part of the of the consultation is education. We teach how to examine by itself the breast. Out as, out breast out of sum is recommending. So looking for any anomaly. Also, we ask the patient get in calendar the periodicity of the metro period. How often is the metro period? I don't even keep a calendar. <laughs> well, that's important because more of the women come in when we ask when was your last that's period. Say, mm, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> that's gonna be always the same. The other things is if you are sexual active, are you using any contraceptive? It's important to know all that kind of do the, all that kind of question. Also, women have to know about the private area, any anomaly like uh, warts or any abnormal discharge, any abnormal bleeding has to be reported. To what the would you consider abnormal discharge? 
normal condition, the vagina has some glands who release some fluid. So mm -hmm. normal condition, the vagina is moist. Right. There is some moment during the menstrual cycle has to be moister than before. For example, days before period comes, days after period go, it can be even the other can be different. Women have normal condition. Women have ovulation 14 days after the first day of the period. In that moment, the mucus on the surface will be more more elastic. So okay. in that moment, more, more preparing for pregnancy. Yes. Okay. What would you say women should look for in terms of body changes? In case, like for example, if they have fibroids and what, well, do you, what should we look for? I will start from the top. Women, when the women do the breast exam, they have to looking for any mm -hmm. anomality on the skin. Without touch, just monitor, watch the skin. Right. Any anomality or change of the color or any any anything different on the breast had to be reported. Then the women had to palpate the breast, looking for any lump. Also had to shed the nipple and the areola area because some discharge coming from the nipple and that could be indicated of the, any disease. So that is in the top. From the bottom, women have to, you're talking about moist, if they have any discharge, the color of the discharge, the odor of the discharge, is it companion of aging or is it companion of any mm -hmm. uh, bony sensation? Or the discharge appear after any unprotected sexual activity? All that has to be reported to them. Or also, some women say, you know, I'm feeling a mass on the, uh, my lower belly. Right. So that it could be one of the signs of the or thyroid. So it had to be reported. What do you think is the reason for black women having more fibroids? We don't know. Yeah, that's We don't seems know. To be All around the world, we know the most frequent benign tumor in women is a fibroid, even benign, it's not cancerous. And more often in black race. The theology, I mean, the origin, we don't know exactly what is the origin. Some people, the myth, on the, what the people say on the tree, oh, if you eat eating meat, you're going to have a fibroid. The fibroid. No, it's not, it's it's not. Some people say it's because of relaxers we put in our no, hair no, no, and the no, chemical. It's not, it's, not, it's not evident. There is no evidence because you're relaxing, because you're eating meat, because no. That. So it's not something that we could say, okay, I'm going to refrain from that. Mm, no. No, so. The, 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 best, the first step is do the diagnosis. Based on the diagnosis, your doctor will recommend it. What is the next step that you have to follow? Okay, we're going to take a break right now. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to hear a lot more from Dr. Nunes on this very important topic, the woman's body. Still to come. If a woman has more than one partner, or if a woman is continually sexually active, that she tends to get loose down there. Sometimes they do it using like a therapy. Or sexual activity have at least one psychological component mm. and one body anatomy component. Hi guys, welcome to Wine Tips 101. Wine chilling. Now, we all know the saying we would love it at room temperature, but what is room temperature? Our room temperature in the Caribbean region is way too hot. So even though it's a red wine or a white wine, you do need to lower the temperature, make it nice and chilly, especially for white wine or a rosé or even a Moscato on the sweet end. But also for your red wines, your Cabernet Sauvignon, your Molos, your Pinot Noirs, you gotta put it in the refrigerator or put it on ice just for a few moments, just to make it the right temperature. Again, our room temperature is way, way, way too hot.
comfortable talk to me what's on your mind Ooh. welcome back to late night with d i am with dr lunez and now we're about to talk about some common myths about the woman's body okay one question the size matter for a man the size size or the women's size? No, the man's size. The man's Be size. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about the, the, the genitals. Yes. No. The size matter because I know a lot of people, men would say, um, okay, if a woman has more than one partner, or if a woman is continually sexually active, that she tends to get loose down there. No. So. Let me tell you. Okay. The vagina is the most one well, of the most elastic organ. In the human body, you realize from the vagina coming a baby out, so the vagina gonna be adapted to any size, any penis size. Ugly, it's a myth, but that's a much of myth. If I have a big penis, mm -hmm. I will satisfy more. No, sex or sexual activity have at least one psychological component mm. and one body anatomic component. component. Okay, so if we say everything is the cut is in the brain. You know about the size. Also, you have to incre include love, uh, communications, privacy. All that contribute to the good sexual activity. But the size not necessarily has to be the the, the crucial. Mm -hmm. the right. Key. So you heard that size does not matter. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. So you knew. It is about preference. So we <laughs> prefer big size. So we prefer normal size. I wasn't talking from the standpoint of the women. I know I was talking from the standpoint of men. Men not. <laughs> okay, so you spoke about a baby, which is which will mm -hmm. come into my next question. After a woman has a baby, everything bounces back, right? Right. But the organism has to be recovered. It's like a, you go to, to a marathon, you roll <laughs> 42 kilometers, then you have to recover from that race. So we recommend you don't get pregnant immediately after your body not be completely recovered. Right. The blood, the bone, the, all the tissue have to come in back and then, because the you, women body is like a factory. Mm -hmm. You destinate so many sources to develop a baby. After that, you have to re be completely recovered to the nest. Well, if you are nest. <laughs> mm -hmm. How soon after having a baby should a woman have sex? Uh, we're recommending after 42 days after. When oh, days, I would think yeah. months. No, 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 <laughs> no. 42 days after, because that is the period, the, the per period that we call after period, after the delivery, after labor. Mm -hmm. 42 days if everything is normal. I mean, no bleeding, the patient no have no, any lacerations. 42, 42 days after, it's okay. Now, I don't know if this is common in your culture, but in St. Lucia, after a woman has a baby, they give her something to drink. Yeah, to clear out. To clear, clear out. out. Does that work? Is that recommended? I know how to most experience of that. <laughs> I respect every every idea. If they consider doing that gonna be clean, but I'm always recommending after the labor go to your private doctor or your daughter mm -hmm. six weeks after your baby born. The doctor will know how to indicate any lab, any examination to be sure everything fine. If the bush medicine is a cleanup work, just take it. I'm not going to say, say it's don't do it. Okay. Mm. Would you recommend the women do Kegel exercises? Kegel, yes. Really? Yes, I recommend it. Kegel exercise is recommended to, for, to do the strength of the uh, baby floor. Mm. Baby floor, after labor or after repetitive pregnancy, mm. can get soft. So some pathology like uh, enia or in vagina enia can come in. Mm. So using Kegel exercise will make a strength your baby floor. Also, Kigat has some component to the sexual activity because it's like a doing compression right. of the muscle all around the vagina. So it's going to get more satisfaction during the sexual activity doing Kigat exercise. What is the simplest way to do a Kigat exercise? I've heard of when you're urinating, you hold... There are so many. I will say do it when you feel comfortable to do it. Okay, you can go urinate, you can be along in your bed, you can take your boss from work. <laughs> if you feel okay doing it in that moment, you'll do it. But how do you do it? Well, I, I guess you will not be able to explain, but 
How would it be done if you're going to work or if you're well, on a bus? Well, women or? know how to get the private area. No Tightened. Matter, yes, because nobody will notice that you're doing contract on your Also, program. you contract and release, contract mm, and release. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay. But I know we will say, I would recommend you doing the best moment. Somebody you are long at home or you take a shower after shower or you feel more comfortable and nobody will bother you, okay, you, you can do it. What about using a yoni egg? Have you heard of the yoni yeah. egg? No. It's an egg or an insert that they put in there no. to help with the Kegel exercises. Uh, the yoni egg is like a glass. Yes, yes. That only we do the <laughs> substitution with the pen. It's a, because you right. make it, it's like an oil to mm -hmm. squeeze. Right. But you can do it without, uh, without. without the device. Okay, now while we're on the topic of inserting things, what should we not insert in there? Well, I know we should not insert a lot of things, but um, women normally use douches. Okay. <laughs> the, the vagina has no more flora. Flora is some bacteria who have to live in there mm -hmm. and protect women to another bacteria. We call that bacteria lactobacil. And the lactobacil keep the pH. So keeping the pH, another bacteria like yeast infections or bacteria vaginosis will invade in your vagina. Now they, uh, they insert in so many things in there. Okay. <laughs> so it's not recommending the douche or when you wash your private area, put your finger and wash mm -hmm. inside. It's not like that. It's not like that. Also, the way you wash your private area from front to back, no, in that, no. From front to back. Yes. Because if you realize anatomically, the anus is close to the vagina and the anus is area who have a lot of bacteria that can contaminate the vagina. Okay, so only one direction, don't insert it so many things. If you will insert it something, be sure, be completely clean. What about tampons? Yes, tampons. How safe are tampons? It's safe. It's, it's safe. safe. So we will prefer tampon than the sanitary nap. Uh, sanitary napkins. Thing, yeah. Okay. Um, still on the topic of inserting things, what about the use of sex toys? Well, I said <laughs> before, if you will prefer use any toy, I know again to any preference, okay? Be sure your toy be sterilized and then you use it. So toys will are you? okay? It's okay. It's okay. Some, will, some, some places recommending is use the condom in the, on the, the needle. Mm -hmm. So... As I know, San Lucia said it's not legal. It's not legal. It's not legal. But here. people do have it and they do use it. So, mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to take another break. <laughs> when we come back, Dr. Nunes will be talking, us, talking to us about other myths. Stay tuned. On the next episode of Late Night with D. I I don't need you, I'll survive, I swear I'll, I'll make it up as I go along, something will happen. Should you care what your partners, parents, or family think about you? We all like a little bit of crazy, and it is a scientifically proven fact. That chapins, that chapins are crazy. Wait, 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 guys, listen. We're talking about adults here, alright? Yeah, it should not matter. These are real life scenarios. You, yeah. She's your friend, you're her friend, whatever it is. She rings you up, hey, you know, let's go hang out, whatever, whatever, and then two shakes, and you come down, and that's okay. I'm trying to close the show. I mean, not everything is illegal. I have a little bit of energy. Hi guys, welcome to Wine Tips 101. Wine chilling. Now, we all know the saying, we would love it at room temperature. But what is room temperature? Our room temperature in the Caribbean region is way too hot. So even though it's a red wine or a white wine, you do need to lower the temperature, make it nice and chilly, especially for white wine or rosé or even a Moscato on the sweet end. But also for your red wines, your Cabernet Sauvignon, your Molos, your Pinot Noirs, you 
gonna put it in the refrigerator or put it on ice just for a few moments just to make it the right temperature again our room temperature is way 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 too hot Welcome back to Late Night with D. Is it true that pineapples make down the taste better? Pineapple? When you say introducing pineapple in the vagina? It's when a woman eat pineapple. eats pineapples. It's a myth. It's a myth? It's a myth. No, no. no. And, and, and in my opinion, I've been doing that for 28 years. I know how any evidence that pineapple can make it sweet mm -hmm. the private area. So is there anything that can do that? No. None. Can oral sex disrupt a woman's pH? Mm. Disrupt the pH? Well, if you take what I was saying before, introducing anything can change, but it's depending if there are so many ways. I know we prevent having oral sex because we, where, because that will change the pH. Okay, that not necessarily has to be like that. But I don't understand properly your question. Your question said, is not recommended to do the oral sex? No, I said yes. If the couple agree to do it, there is nothing, nothing. To, to say don't do it. What about using sweet stuff down there, like chocolate and whipped cream? <laughs> Sexuality is a one range of the preference. There are people who like to be beaten. There are people who like to be whatever they want to do. Sexuality is agreement between peoples. If you agree to use chocolate, if you agree to have a sushi, if you agree <laughs> to, 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 to do what you want, it's agreement. We agree to do it. If not agree, you avoid violating me. You rape. Yeah, but would it, would it disrupt our pH? Yes. It, it would. would. It, it would. would. <laughs> it will. It so will stay definitely. away from all the sugar. <laughs> it will change so many things down there. Should a woman shave down there completely? That is another thing. Naturally, there is a, that area have a hair. Mm -hmm. And that hair prevents the sweat go inside the vagina. Nowadays, oh. it's a fashion. Everybody wants want to, to wax and... Wax it, shave, and that is completely out of the, the hair. I recommend it sometimes, if you don't want a hair, just clip it. But don't shave it completely. Because the hair has one function in that area. It's preventing the sweat go inside the vagina moving, dragging all the bacteria who are in the skin. Oh, okay. So now we're going to take some questions from the fans. Okay. The first question, is there a doctor for men? There's gynecologist yes, for women. Urologist, urologist. What are they called? Urologist. The, really? Uro I never... Urologist. Yes, urologist is the doctor who taking care of the... It, it is similar to the gynecological. And things like what would they do? What would the test be like? They test the testicles, they test the penis, or the pathology. The prostate, the prostate, the prostate, the prostate. Prostate. The prostate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the, the guy who always do. A lot of men shy away from getting the prostate tested because of the method of. Yeah, but we're recommending all men at the 40 years old do annual the PCS, PS, the prostate. Prostate. Mm -hmm. uh, prostate. So just to testing any anomaly on the on the prostate to rule out prostate cancer. Okay, the next question. Can somebody drink alcohol while taking both control pills? Mm, I will say something. I will take your, your question back. If you're not taking birth control, better don't take alcohol. Because if you drink alcohol <laughs> without you, you are not ready to open your lips. <laughs> so, yes, you can, you can, you can take uh, alcohol. Alcohol. While you're taking birth control. birth control. Okay. Why did you decide to specialize in being a gynecologist instead of being a general practitioner? Well, I was a general practitioner. 
and become doctor in 1990, so 20 years ago. My first specialty was family doctor. But my second specialty was obstetrician and gynecologist. Mm. And in that specialty, I like more fetal medicine. and I specialize in the doctor inside the utero. You're to tell in some way that you can understand. So I'm doing ultrasound to rule out any anomalities in babies. Mm -hmm. I'm doing ultrasound to see if the mother has the normal condition to carry the baby. That's my specialty. Do you ever get tired of seeing vaginas? Um, as a doctor? Yes. No. <laughs> as a man? No. <laughs> Do you think abortions should be legal? That is very polemic. Uh, polemic, yes. It's a very uh, controversial questions. question. I will say women have a right to decide with their body what they want. When I say that included, they have a right to decide where I want to get pregnant, where I want to have sex, where, uh, where, who the doctor is going to take care of me. I want to deliver in that position. I want to deliver in that place. Mm -hmm. So women have a right to. When you avoid that, you are violating women, uh, women's rights. Right. So I won't say uh, abortion has to be legalized because moral, religion, and some sector of the society will attack me. I will say you have a right to do with your body what you want. You, you choose the place where you're going to do because sanitation is not legal. Exactly. Okay, so if you're not doing that, if you're doing that, you're going to but there is some situations mm -hmm. that make you think. For example, you have a teenager with 15 years old or 13 years old right. was raped by any family member and got pregnant. You will decide whether or not you would want to. Or you have a woman who have a carried pregnancy and suddenly during the ultrasound show that the baby have severe anormality, maybe not compatible for life. Right. There are so many, so many situations that the society had to make in mind, I mean, think to take the best option. And that is the, something that had to bring to the, to the potential. Maybe San Lucia had to vote for legalized marijuana or legalized homosexuality or legalized uh, abortion. That is something that had to be the cause. Very interesting. Um, do you think women should have sex during pregnancy or should women have sex during pregnancy? Uh, well, when you're pregnant, you're not sick. <laughs> you're only pregnant. So there is nothing to say normal, normal pregnancy. Pay attention to me. Normal pregnancy, pregnancy. is not prevent you having sex. But I always say to my patient, hello, you are pregnant, you're not sick, you can have sex, but don't jump from the ceiling. <laughs> okay, just do normal sex. And then I'm also, how am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, so you know what? You cannot be top to your partner. Your mm. partner has to be top mm. over you, especially when the belly gets bigger. It's better side by side because the penetration is less. Be sure your partner will do something out there because you know your partner is going to carry something to you. Especially the semen has some substance who can delay the service. Right. Okay, so it's no preventing having sex during the pregnancy. If the pregnant if your doctor said that you don't have a fretal miscarriage or if you don't have a placenta low mm -hmm. or if you don't have that condition, yes you can have it. Go ahead and have it. sex during pregnancy. Yes. Okay. What are some of no let me rephrase. Can position, sexual positions damage a woman or can it be detrimental to a woman? So, no. 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 Some position damage to women. Yes. So why you not change again the question? Some position can damage <laughs> the man. <baby. laughs> yeah, because you are a big, big, big woman, and the man is below you when you jump. It can. There is some pathology described that a fracture. The mm. penis is not the bone, but when get erectile, mm. they get so hard, and any abnormal can traumatize the the the, the penis. So it's not. There is no position who who damage that will damage the woman. the woman. No, no, no. No. But some suppose, women, suppose some women say that okay, they they belly hurts or yes. this. Uh, are, yes. are we talking about that? Yes. Normal sexual activity is painless. Mm. Normal sexual activity, in a normal condition. Suppose you don't have to have pain. No men have pain. No women have, <laughs> have to have a pain during sexual activity. If you have pain, okay, you have to look for what is the reason okay. for using that. It not necessarily has to be the positions. Mm -hmm. 
So this some there could be some other reason, health reason. Yes. Maybe lack of lubrications. Maybe there is no privacy. Maybe you doing this because but you're not in there. Maybe mm -hmm. you don't know the mood. So many things affecting. Is anal sex dangerous? Anal sex? Mm -hmm. If both are agree and you have the proper condition to do it and you get satisfaction, yes, it's no problem. Actually, there is... I remember when I started this, car this career, there was a, a very particular case. The mother swear that the daughter was a vegan. It was vegan. She brought the daughter to... But she knew that she was having sex. She brought the daughter to the consulting room. So mm -hmm. did, yes, the army was intact. But she was having anal sex all the time. Oh, and she didn't know? No. She did knew it. Oh, the she daughter knew. But she didn't want to lose the virginity. Oh. So, hmm. There are some, if you get satisfaction doing anal sex, I know we said don't do it. It's your, it's your ocean. Okay, so we have time for one more question. Mm -hmm. Do using toys change a woman's feelings towards a man? If you're constantly using a dildo, would your feelings for a man change after a while? Sometimes dildo is using like a therapy. Okay. Therapy? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, for example, your man is in... In Africa, you are long hair. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cheat in him, and you have a dildo next to your your, your <laughs> bed. What you gonna use? Your finger, your dildo. You have the finger, the, 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 and sure. there is nothing bad in that. It is one option that you have in your private life. Obvious. There is a couple, mm -hmm. and even we say no nowadays. It's no couple. Sometimes women or men do this on do what do what they want. If they agree to use the, the dildo and get satisfaction during that activity, okay, just do it. The problem is when you not agree and you trying to do pressure, you manipulate somebody to do anything. Okay, well, Dr. Nunes, thank you for coming on the show. It was very informative. I learned a lot, and I'm sure our viewers learned a lot. And if you have any more questions, you can feel free to contact Dr. Nunes with the information supplied below. I get close to you. I'm talking about sex, love, relationships too. Be -de -be -de -be -de -be -de what you see, friend, and your fantasies, yeah. And we keep in a brown. All late night with me. All late night with me. Late Night with D is brought to you by On the next episode of Late Night with D I don't need you, I'll survive, I'll swear I'll, I'll make it up as I go along, something will happen Should you care? what your partners, parents, or family think about you. We all like a little bit of crazy, and it is a scientifically proven fact that shamans that are crazy. Yeah. Wait, 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 guys, listen. We're talking about adults here, all right? Yeah. It should not matter. These are real-life scenarios. You, yeah. She's your friend, you're her friend, whatever it is. She rings you up, hey, you know, let's go hang out, whatever, whatever, and then two shakes, and come down, and that's okay. I'm trying to close the show. I mean, not everything is illegal. I'm a little bit in